NHRA Pro Stock. Hundreds of a second separate first to last place. Millions spent to find a few horsepower. Aren't you glad someone figured it out for you? Let's send it over to NHRA announcer Bob Fry as he takes us through Dart's small block Chevy heads. We stopped by Dart Machine in Michigan to review their redesigned platinum small block Chevy heads. Now Dart offers two types of small block heads, the Iron Eagle and the Aluminum Pro One. The technology is shared from the iron to the aluminum heads, though the Pro One weighs less and comes CNC bowl blended. Intake port sizing ranges from 200 to 230 cc's. From technology to initial and final machining, we are going to show you what it takes to make Dart's race-inspired heads. But before we do that, let's check in with Dart's founder, Richard Maskin. We built a small block Chevy and put it in a Don Ness Firebird and we never built a small block Chevy or at least in years and years and years. Those heads are the basis for Dart's development with the small block. We ran those heads in 79 and 80 and the first Dart II head was based on the technology that I had accumulated through 1981. In 1986 or 7 the Dart II head came out and that head hasn't been changed since I designed it in 1986. By the time we got to building the 1997 version, we'd won quite a few pro stock races, won a championship, and when we went to design that head, all that input went into it. Although the head still fits on the same engine, uses relatively the same size valves and components, the power levels that the head can produce is up about 100 horsepower since what I learned in 1981. So essentially what you're looking at is a painting that we're never gonna to get to finish as we keep working on these heads. Part of Dart's cylinder head technology involves using Dart's wet flow bench to optimize cylinder head port design and flow in real world conditions. Here you see a Dart small block Chevy head being flowed on the bench. This allows the head to be tested just like it would be used on an engine with air and fuel flowing through the ports. This has led to a dramatic improvement in Dart's combustion chamber shaping. I'm Dan Kendall, and my responsibility at Dart is I take care of uh, what goes on at our foundry. I take care of uh, what goes on at our manufacturing facility relative to materials and testing. The important thing for me is that from the minute that we receive aluminum in its raw state to the time that it ends up as a cylinder head machine and shipped to our customer, that every detail is handled properly. The port configurations, the water jacket design, that is a difficult piece to produce and we guard that process very carefully, we watch it very closely. As opposed to five years ago at DART today, in our machining facility, we can measure things in tenths, not in thousandths anymore. We're able to machine an entire cylinder head and hold tolerances within tenths. A tenth is take the plastic of a cigarette wrapper and divide it by ten. But more importantly, for a company like ours, who's consistently trying to reach as many people in the performance industry as possible, is that we can hold those tolerances in volume. Now that you have an understanding of the technology involved in developing darts heads, let's see how they are manufactured. Darts Machining Center is where all darts raw iron and aluminum castings are received. All castings are designed with tensile strength in mind. The idea is to allow the heads to flex so they do not fracture, but in a way that allows the heads to return to their original shape after a heat cycle. All heads are machined on an eight station cube fixture. The fixture simplifies the process of turning the heads from raw castings to finished products. The machining centers will perform such operations as clearance for push rods, initial valve job, valve spring seats, valve stem holes, and all mounting holes. Iron heads differ slightly by the cutters used and the machine time. 
The heads are then shipped to Darts Technology Center where they receive final machining and assembly. All heads are then deburred. The CNC Pro 1 heads will move to the 5-axis CNC machine where they will be bowl blended and ported to exact specifications. The CNC machine surpasses hand porting in both speed and consistency. The heads are washed after all machining is complete. They will then be boxed or assembled. Assembled heads receive stainless valves, springs, and retainers. That's it from DART. We showed you everything from design to final production. So the next time you drive your DART-headed street rod, remember, you're running a little pro-stock technology.